your own house. It has happened to me before. Amen. You are shut down of your house, of your car, and you are shut out. Somebody called me the other day. I think it was Gobi and his friend. They, they went out, and his friend had to call him. Listen, I can't gain access into my car. And he has to drive there. He tried all the cool, but no, until they are able to get the key out. Amen. Until they are able to get the key out. Hallelujah. So, and we say the key can be in form of a password. It can be in anything. It can be, you know, but something that is unique to that. In the digital world today, the key doesn't have to be something that is physical. That is why it's going to take us to the spiritual principle today. But today, we want to talk about master key. And that is the key that can open any door. Any door. Any door. And Jesus, by the word of God, amen, the word of God is the most potent, is the most powerful. There is no solution that you cannot find in the world. There is no solution that is not in the world. You are looking for prosperity in the world. Amen. You are looking for breakthrough. It's in the word of God. You are looking for healing. It's in the word. And from the word of God, we are going to dish out master keys. Praise the name of the Lord that can open all doors for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready for that? I'm going to be sharing three master keys with you today. Number one, the master key of making Jesus the priority this year. Amen. It's a master key. Come and say it's a master key. So the Bible says, Jesus says in the book of John, Amen. John chapter 14, verse 6. John chapter 14, verse 6. Come on now. John chapter 14, verse 6. What does it say? It says, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. You are looking for the way when you have Jesus. It became the way, the way to prosperity, the way to breakthrough, the way to healing, the way to open door. If you make him the top priority this year, he will make a way. Praise the name of the Lord. In other words, our relationship with Jesus will make doors open for us supernaturally. Is the master key? Is the master key? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Listen to this. He said, no one. Did you see that? No one comes to the Father except through me. In other words, you want to go to the Father for anything? For your breakthrough, for your healing, for your deliverance? Amen? For your rising? Through me. Through me. I am the main door. I am the key to the Father. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus is the key to the Father. So, not only that you want Jesus to be in your life, you want to make him the top priority. You want to make him the number one. Because if he goes ahead of you, you are sure that the door will be open for you. If you make him the priority, every other thing will become secondary. And the secondary is easy for you to do for you. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father and who is the author and the finisher of all things? Jesus, the Father. God holds everything. The Bible says the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. God is the creator of everything. In him, the Bible says all things consist. Both visible and invisible. Everything that you will ever need to succeed and to survive and to make expression on the planet is in Jesus. Amen. So if you if you have access to him, you will have access to the Father. If you allow him in your life, you will have access to the Father. If you allow him in your life, you will have access to healing. If you allow him in your life, you will have access to prosperity. Praise the name of the Lord. You see, let me tell you, years ago, and I've shared my testimony over and over again about me always being at the back of the class. But when I gave my life to Jesus, the door was open for me. Those days I was afraid whether... And we have enough to graduate in school. But Jesus, make it happen. Hallelujah. Now, not only that you want to build to this year, let your relationship with Jesus be stronger. And that is why, for me personally, I started reading the book of uh, New Testament this month. And I saw the power of Jesus. Hey, I saw miracles of Jesus. 
I saw the love and the mercy of Jesus. I saw the grace of Jesus. I saw the humility of Jesus. I saw the suffering of Jesus for my sake and for your sake. And he said, if you make me your top priority, there is no door that I cannot open for you. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Whatever God cannot do in your life, no one else can do it. Forget about any man that promised you heaven and earth. They don't have, they, they can't, they can't have established promise for everything. Because they are limited. But God is unlimited. And he has power for all things. If he promised you, he has the power to bring it to pass. No man has the power to bring anything to happen in your life. And that is why you face all kinds of disappointment. Somebody promised you, and by the time you call the person, oh, I'm sorry. You know, when you hear that word, I'm sorry, you just know. You just know that this is human being. Amen. Anytime you hear the word, I'm sorry, human being is speaking. But you will not hear that with God. There is nothing like, I'm sorry, I promise I can't fulfill that when God promises, it doesn't matter how big, how lofty, in this promise of God, he has the capacity in him to make his promises happen in your life. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is why he must be at the top. So as you build yourself, as you look forward to open door this year, your master key to open door, amen, is making God the priority, making Jesus the priority. Hallelujah. Now let us see the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. This is Jesus speaking. Look at Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. God is the gateway to everything. God is the gateway to everything. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Amen. Please let us avoid distraction. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 3 verse 33. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, but sit first. You see, when you make the first thing first in your life, it makes life easy. Praise the name of the Lord. The reason is that, the reason why many of people are confused and frustrated in life is because they make the last thing first and they make the first thing last. What is supposed to be the first was made secondary. We're supposed to be the primary was made secondary and when the second primary made secondary your life is displaced it's displaced it's not in order and when your life is not in order you are living in disorder and god doesn't operate in disorderliness can i hear amen to somebody god doesn't operate in what in disorderliness the blessing of god flows when there is order the spirit of god flows in the place of order so he says seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and what will happen and what will happen all these things what are all these things what are the all these things in other words the making god the power is the open doors to all these things the making Jesus the priority open doors to all these things. So you can put your own all these things there. Before, the, before we started the year, how many of you have goals? And many of you have written down what you want God to do for you? Those are all these things. Those things that you wrote down, they are not the primary. They are the secondary. But who is the primary? Come on, can I hear you? God is the primary. He says, seek it first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things your business will follow amen so when you seek God first you make him the primary is the, that is the master key to every door that you need you remember we are talking about master key does this look like master key to you they are seeking first the kingdom of God and all these doors praise the name of the Lord that's how to put it. All these doors will be open. All these doors will be open. I personally, this year, I am determined that my spiritual life and my relationship with God is going to go to the next level. Amen. And I believe that the, the, the prosperity that I experienced, the healing and the deliverance that I experienced this year will be determined by whether I make God the first in my life or the second in my life. 
praise the name of the Lord. If you become the first, you take the primary and you will bring your life to an expected end in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, all these things shall be added. You see, when I understand this scripture, praise the name of the Lord, you know, my business, my financial life, it doesn't carry bigger weight in my heart like when it is God. God carry big weight in my heart. That God, am I pleasing you? Am I walking in your will? Am I doing all that I can do to be in your purpose all the days of my life? That is the most priority. When I want to go to sleep, I want to be at peace with God no matter what. That is my priority. Amen. And when that is settled, every other door will be open. Come on, say that is number one master key. Number one master key put the first thing first. And who is the first? God. In my giving, God. In my, in my business, God. Anything God wants me to do in my business, that's what I do. It doesn't matter how tough it is. I want to do it. Praise the name of the Lord. Number two master key. Everybody say number two. I'm talking about master key this month. Because you don't need unique key, you need the master key. The key that opens any door. Number two, master key is prayer. Everybody say prayer. I personally believe that prayer is a blessing that is given to us by God. Prayer is God's access key to everything that he has. Amen. Even Jesus says, up till now you have not asked ask and it shall be given to you prayer is God's open door policy to everything that he has when you have the master key of prayer anything you need you know the bible says before you ask I know in other words he wants you to ask use your master key use your authority key that is given to you to open door to the storehouse of heaven Prayer is the key that gives you the open door to the storehouse of heaven. And in that storehouse, there is healing. In that storehouse, there is prosperity. In that storehouse, there is breakthrough, there is deliverance. The reason why many get frustrated when things are not happening is because they don't pray. When you pray, burdens will be lifted from you. Why? The Bible says, your burden upon me because I care for you. How do you care? How do you cast your burden on God when you pray? You say, God, I can't do this myself. I need you. I need your power. I need your grace. I couldn't find help by myself. I need your help. I couldn't gain access to my success myself. I need you. And when you take God, you need him, which is what God wants you to be. He doesn't want you to depend on yourself. He wants you to depend on him. That is a master key. Each time you tell God, I depend on you where my strength cannot go forward. God gives you the master key in the place of prayer. Amen. Come on, say prayer. Everybody say prayer is my master key. So this year, you will pray, pray like never before. Amen. Every Wednesday, we come here to pray for only one hour. Seven to eight. Praise the name of the Lord. We really see many people here for prayer. Let us change this year. And when we pray, mighty things happen. We have testimony upon testimony in the place of prayer. There is nothing you do that can move God except you pray. You're weeping and crying and murmuring and complaining. Doesn't move God. But the man and woman of prayer can move the hand of God to do the impossible. Is somebody listening to me? Come on, say, I hear that. Hallelujah. So we move the hand of God. Look at what Jesus says. That's why I love Jesus. Amen. You see, Jesus says that, you know, Jesus answered to him in, in, in John chapter 14. John chapter 14, verse 13. He said, and I will do whatever you ask in my name. I will do whatever you ask in my name. I will do does that sound like a master key to you? Does that sound like a master key? That whatever door you want to open, I will open it. That's what it means. I will do whatever you ask 